Rogers Show. Starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Next time you come in, kid, you better knock. Or you might get a bullet in. I was just going to tell you, Mr. Riggins, the gang's coming. They're bringing Fred Kane. He's wounded. Wounded? Quit hanging on to him. I'm hanging on to you. I'm helping. Jerry, get some water and clean towels for Ben. Yes, sir. Be careful now. You ain't branding no cow. What did you run into? Roy Rogers. Rogers? I went out to get him and ran into a hail of lead. Oh! Why, you fool, I ought to kill you. I told you not to tangle with Rogers. You'll have every lawman in cow poking this country on our necks. Oh. Well, what'd you expect us to do? Just keep playing hide and seek with that guy? Do you realize that two banks, five express offices, and two gold mines in this county just crying to be held up? And all we can do is just keep one jump ahead of him? They say he leads a charmed life. I don't believe it. I've heard he's faster than Fort Lightning. I believe that. There must be some way to get rid of Rogers. I'll get rid of him for you, Mr. Egger. You? Sure, why not? You couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. You want to try me? You ain't never been on a stick-up, let alone a shooting. No, you'd give up right away. I would not. Just because you guys are yellow is no sign I am. Why, you little punk ought to tan your hide. Call me yellow, will you? Take his gun belt and wave it. Let me hit you. Let's go. Stop ironing your lungs, all of you. The kid's right. He's as good a gunman as any of you. I've been teaching him myself, haven't I, kid? You sure have, Mr. Egger. All he needs is experience. And this will give him a chance to get it. But he's nearsighted. He can shoot all right when he's close up. And I've got a plan that'll have him rubbing elbows with Rogers. Judging from these tracks, I'd say that Fred Kane met up with three riders here. Probably the rest of the Egger gang. Well, let's get after him. I'm ready to roll. If you're going to go with us, you better leave this thing here because we're heading into the hills. She ain't no thing. Besides that, Nellie Bell can go any place you can go. You ought to know that. second chance at Rogers. So make sure you're close enough to get him before you start shooting. You just leave Rogers to me, Mr. Reger. You do this job all right, kid, and I'll cut you in the same as the rest of the boys. Here comes Rogers. All right, Jerry, get going. And remember, you're supposed to be getting away from us.
see who they were chasing. If you folks hadn't come along, I'd have been a goner. Who were those fellas shooting at you? Why were they shooting at you? I wish I knew. All I did was ride up to a cabin looking for work, and those guys started throwing lead at me. Had you ever seen them before? No, ma'am. And I ain't yearning to see them again. Especially that one that reverse draws. Reverse draw? That must be Colt Hager. Listen, Dale. Get to the nearest phone and call the sheriff. Tell him I'm on the trail of the Egger gang and to set up roadblocks pronto. Right, where will I meet you? Better make it your ranch. It's the closest. Take Bullet with you. Right. Come on, Bullet. Well, by the way, what's your name? Jerry King. I'm Roy Rogers, Jerry. This is Pat Brady. Hi. Hi. Do you think you could find that cabin again? The cabin? Well, uh... I don't know. Well, don't you worry about a thing, Jerry. Them fellows ain't gonna be shooting at you again, not with Roy and me along to protect you. I think we better take a look for that cabin. gonna ride straight up to the front door, are you? Shouldn't we kind of sneak up on them? All right, Pat, but you two stay here. I'll go over there and keep Rogers covered. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, it is, ain't it? Maybe I shouldn't be standing here all by my lonesome. Jerry! Ain't you got no better sense than to shoot before Roy gives a signal? My gun. Where's my gun? I don't know. Where'd it go? Down there in that hole. Oh my gosh. Take care of you. Move it to the left. Mm -hmm. No, to the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, quit jerking at it. Okay. Okay, now lower it. <coughs> this is a doggone, the deepest hole I ever did see. <coughs> kind of dry fishing, isn't it? Oh, well, you see... Jerry lost his gun down his hole. It was my fault. I jumped him thinking he was going to shoot before you got up to the hideout. But I was only trying to cover you, Mr. Rogers. Thanks. Forget about the gun, Pat. We'll have to get back to town. We'll leave Jerry at Dale's ranch on the way. But my gun. I, I gotta have my gun. And I have to get a prisoner to jail. I found Fred Kane. Come on.
Dale, well, what do you suppose could be keeping Mr. Rogers in Patton Town? They've been gone a long time. Well, it takes quite a while to charge a prisoner and make out a report, Jerry. Uh, I was just thinking, maybe they got some new dope on the Egger gang. Oh, you don't have to worry about the Egger gang. You're safe here. What makes you think I'm worried about them? Well, you're the only one that can identify them. That makes you their number one target. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, doggone it. I'll bet that service station guy didn't put no water in Nellie Bell at all. I've never seen her so head up in all my life. By the way, which reminds me, what were you doing in the sheriff's office alone? Checking on Jerry King. On Jerry? Well, you don't suspect him of anything, do you? I suspected Colt Egger of using him. I guess I was wrong. The sheriff never heard of Jerry. He has no criminal record. Boy, I'm glad, because I laid out real dough to buy him a present. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Dale. Hi. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> Seeing as how I lost your guns for you, I brought you another. <laughs> Boy, that's the best there is. You can't miss with that one. Say, that's thoughtful of you, Pat, isn't it, Jerry? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, that's gratitude for you. Well, he probably never got a present before. Just embarrassed him a little, maybe. I go in and pick out that gun like I was buying myself a diamond. And then he goes, never got a present before. Well, he told me he was raised in an orphanage and he ran away when he was 12 years old. And that time on, he's just been living from hand to mouth. And that probably accounts for the bad company he's been keeping. Oh, poor kid. do this job all right, kid, and I'll cut you in the same as the rest of the boys. That's what I'd call shooting. Do you always stand this close to your target? Well, I'm near sight. Come on back here. Can you still see the target? Yeah, I can see it. Then you're not near sighted. You're just not sure of yourself. What do you mean? You're thinking too much. Once you get the feel of your gun, you let it do the work, like this. Golly! Hey, that's the fastest draw I ever saw. Will you show me how to do it, Mr. Rogers? It's not hard. I just want to draw and never stop to think about it. If I did, I'd never get the gun out. See if you can outdraw me. You mean you want me to draw on you? Sure. Go ahead. You're still thinking. You're saying to yourself, do I or don't I want to shoot him? Once you've made up your mind, maybe you can outdraw me. Rogers made me take him to the hideout. I tried to steer him wrong, but you guys left... You guys left a wide open trail. You should have plugged him before he got there. I tried to, but Brady jumped me and I lost my gun. Keep your voice down. Besides, Cole told me to wait till I was dead certain. And I ain't had the chance. Not one single... Not one single chance. Well, Cole's giving you until the night. And if you ain't plugged Rogers by then, he'll take it you've double-crossed him. And Cole don't favor people who double-cross him. Wait, wait! You looking for someone stranger?
find Miss Dale. Oh, I'll bet you can hit a gopher's eye to 60 yards. Hey, that was close. Come on, Pat. That's enough, Willis. Come in. Where is he, Roy? Well, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the Egger gang. How about it, Jerry? Well, well, I'm not sure. I didn't get a real good look at either of them. Well, it doesn't matter. The sheriff will make him talk. Come on, you. Glad you got that new gun, Jerry, because that guy was just laying for you. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole Egger gang didn't have us surrounded right now. Well, what am I saying? Hey, Roy, wait for me! All clear, Lou? Yeah, just as peaceful as a cemetery. That's the dough? That's it. This job is easy. I feel ashamed to take it. How much did you get? Maybe I should sit down and count it for you, stupid. Let's get going. Hey, it's Roger. You got Wayne. I'll let a couple of shots in next to the building. Maybe you can make a getaway. Well, Roy, we got two of the Egger gang. Hey, Roy, they're getting away! Hurry up, Roy! What am I doing here all by myself? more about that holdup. Oh, you should have seen me chasing them outlaws. Nellie Bell are roaring right at their heels, and my six gun a spitting lead hot. Bang, bang, bang. Did they, did they really get away with 50 grand? Which is a lot of money. Yeah, you're telling me. One fourth of that would be more than 12,000. Of course, I could have rounded up that gang right then and there, but I, <laughs> I figured I better go back and help Roy. Uh, hey, I, I forgot to tell you, Pat. Dale wanted you to get some wood for the fireplace. What nobody wants to do around here is shoved on me. Hi, Roy. Hi, Pat. Hi, Jerry. Did Pat tell you about the holdup? Yeah. I bet Edgar's hopping mad, not only getting 50,000. Only? He'll need that and more just to bribe the people who hide and feed him. If he didn't, they'd turn him in for the reward. I'd certainly hate to spend my life knowing I was just about as popular as a rattler. Scared to turn my back on anyone for fear they'd plug me from behind. All right, go ahead and shoot me. That's what you're here for, isn't it?
can sit out here all day and wait for that kid to come out. Don't worry, man. He'll be by. Here he comes now. Get down there before Rogers grabs him and he squills his head off. Jerry? It's my leg. You were right, Mr. Rogers. I was gonna kill you. Cole gave me till tonight to kill you. I knew he'd sent you. See if you can move your foot. Well, at least it isn't broken. Probably a bad sprain. Let me help you up. But, but how did you know Cole sent me? Because you're the worst liar in the world. Here, now take it easy. Well, well then why didn't you turn me in? Maybe I saw more in you than Colt did. Take it easy. Have a step or two and we'll have you on your horse. My guy, ain't you? Walked right into my little trap. Now I'll deliver him to Colt COD for my cut of that 50 grand. The kid's catching on fast. Get his gun. <laughs> Jerry, but it didn't do that leg of yours any good. It won't do either one of you any good. <coughs> you know, really, kid. You were right, Mr. Rogers. That time I wanted to draw. Think you can make it okay? Yes, sir. Gee, I'm glad to see you feeling better, Jerry. Thanks a lot, Dale. Sure, I'm grateful to you, Mr. Rogers, for taking such a chance with me. The only way to bring out a man's good side is to have faith in him, Jerry. Hey, Pat, what are you up to? Oh, I'm practicing all my reverse draws. Well, you better be careful. You might shoot someone. Who, me? Not me. You're looking at the most deadliest draw that ever draws a draw. When I draw on them, they stay drawn. Look. in for a long run. Yeah. <laughs> Happy trail to you. 